How to use the markers in Calipeg. Markers can be added at the top of your timeline to help you locate important frames. Double tap on the ruler at the top of the timeline to open the markers panel. The first icon here is the mark in mark out. You can select a portion of your animation, double tap on the ruler and add mark in mark out to play only that part of your animation. Long touch on the green or red marker and drag to change your in or out position. You can also go where you want in the timeline, double tap and tap in or out. Here I want to add a marker on that position which is one of my key poses. So I double tap, I tap on the marker icon, then I name it 1. I can tap on the color and choose for example red and tap elsewhere to validate. I can see the name of my marker here and if I hide the onion skin bar, it will be displayed bigger. I will do that for a few key poses. That one here, double tap, marker, 2. I tap on the color. I select the first one in my history. That one here, 3, red, 5. This one here, 4. And finally, that one here. Whenever I want, I can double tap to rename, change the color. I can also decide to show or not the name of my markers on the timeline. In the settings, timeline, always show markers description. I disable it and I don't see it anymore. The markers are located in the timeline ruler. So here, if I select my sheets and I move them, the marker will still be here. We are planning to add some kind of markers on the drawing sheets themselves at some point in the development of Calipeg. Last tip about the markers, you can go to the settings here, flip, and decide that the flip style is markers. So if you flip like that, you can go from marker to marker. If you flip with three fingers, it will go from marker to marker, and it will do the same with your keyboard shortcuts.